Good day, I'm Iceween and I'm playing with a mill mage, which seems to be bringing me all the way back to 20 in a rank. Damn, yeah, this is not going that well, mainly as it seems just because I am playing all my hard removal and all my removal just way too early and not waiting it out. But I'm just, especially just against that control warrior, I just had way too much stuff that I had to remove. Especially with everything having like 5 HP, I'm in a really bad shape. Don't really want the Death Lord, I think. I'm thinking about keeping it, but if I don't have any early removal, like a Polymorph, the Death Lord will be really bad. Well, this is somewhat okay. This is actually the same hand as we had last time, wasn't it? This was. This is pretty much the exact same hand. They, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> Ah, uh, damn. Hmm. At, le at least if he... I mean, what, where is he? I mean, if at least if he doesn't play anything, then we're fine. And if he just, just passes to me, okay? As, and if he just could keep on passing, that would be really good. Also, if he doesn't have an armor smith immediately, that would also be great. Something like Cunning and Acolyte of Pain would be cool. Coin the Acolyte. Okay, coin. And... Interesting. Very interesting. So... What... This is this is still a control warrior, right? Even though, yeah, he's, it's, this is still a control warrior, and he pretty much used that to kill this guy, right? Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. That's okay. So this is more of a. Yeah, this is more of a echo thing, as it seems. So you frostbolt this and then kill it. He's going to go for with the uh, fiery war axe also for the face, if I'm reading him correctly. I mean, it seems like he's somewhat aggro, mid range, probably more, more probably more mid range. Okay, so this is a mech thing. Interesting. Also, everything in here is something that I cannot deal with. It has one HP too much. We still have a sludge belt, so he will have to uh, actually go. Trade a little very badly with that. Oh yeah, this is actually going to be very good sludge belcher. He'll slow him down immensely together with the explosive sheep next turn. Goes in with both of these. Okay, shit, no. Oh, he trades that way. That is something that I wouldn't have done. He would have had given he would have dealt way more damage to me. If he just had um, gone f for the warbot on n nothing, but just gone in with that one, he would still have a 2 1, kill the other one, and then the warbot, whenever he triggers it with this death rattle, he will have way more damage on the board. He will kill this one 2 1. Mm. So, will that be worth it? Yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. I, I don't see any reason not to do anything here. I am just going to uh, make myself ready for uh, explosive sheep. Maybe we go for a cold light. He's most likely just going to kill it with his fiery war axe. I would rather want a cold light and echo of Medif that or duplicate it in some way. Mainly because an echo deck doesn't have that much uh, um, uh, card draw. That's the word. Card draw. Just because it doesn't have that much card draw, it's going to be not really the best. Also, he's... Are we dead immediately? Like, right now? Oh, at least it... Okay, uh, he has to card draw. That is something for that is sure. We're sure about here. But, uh... Plus two, plus two. It's still dead. It's still dead? No, it's not. We are dead. That is for sure. Okay, so that's, that's the thing. Uh, so we have to heal if we want to do anything here. Oh, we can also just thrust Nova. Cool. Mm. 
Yeah, sure. And um, I may have, should have uh, killed this one, and then um, gone for the um, for the Frost Nova. Kill that one, then Frost Nova, then we would have got, gotten even more out of the explosive sheep. Why do you have to play all sorts of stuff with 3 HP? Damn it. Also, we are dead. Again. <laughs> Damn, that wasn't even close, was it? Well, we had a secret out, that's one good thing, wasn't it? So if we had healed, we would still have been dead because he had everything else on the board. Man, I just want one win. Is that way, way too much to ask? I guess my what I said uh, earlier just about uh, mages being able to do anything, it ha comes with a cost, as it seems. Mages is just way harder to play. Or at least this deck is harder to play. I'm not going to say that the Aqua Mage is hard. That is very easy to play that one. Okay, Mage, please be a Freeze Mage. It would be so wonderful if you were a Freeze Mage. Or a Hand Mage, that would also be really good. He has at least uh, as one of those uh, plan party backgrounds, so that should be somewhat okay. Cone of Cold, maybe? Nah. Yeah. If he is uh, some kind of Aqua thing, we should maybe keep it. Also, Explosive Sheep. Explosive Sheep is better if he should end up having something that is only 2 HP and less. Cone of Cold if he has something that is uh, with 3 HP or something. Very interesting. So he has... He is also a mech mage. So even though he has gone to lion parties, he doesn't really want to play anything that costs a lot. Damn. So I was mulliganing wrong, really. I mean, most of the stuff that we have in our hand is still going to be board control, but the cold light should probably have been thrown out for something else. We would need a duplicate and a sludge belcher here. That would be really be what we want. But probably not what we get. And he has gone AFK. Thank you. Clockwork gnome. Cool. And another one too, probably. Okay. Well, we're going to take three damage. We can keep him off the board here with, with the amount of damage here just doing this he will probably have another mech though to throw down and then we will take six damage to the face but we can coin a cone of cold or coin an explosive sheep combo the last one is probably the better one yeah yeah He just doesn't have. He should just not get too much momentum. That is the problem here. I just don't want him to get way too much momentum here. Four uh, four mana next turn. Probably just kill that, then frostbolt whatever he plays. Except, yeah, cool. That's something. Right. We are so much in trouble, aren't we? Kill that, still take two damage next turn, and thrust pull that. I mean, I would expect with this deck that we are going to be on the defensive, especially early game. But I'm. it still seems to me that we're just struggling to keep board control, even though that this deck is nothing but board control. Okay, he's drawing, that's one good thing. So if we cone of cold, and then um, do nothing. Just keep him at bay. I don't like to do this, but I guess I have to. You what, mate? He fireblasts his own yeti? Okay, thank you. Now he makes sense. Now he makes sense. We had a... F yeah, I always you already used that. So, kind of cold on that. And there we go. He is still... We can still turn this around somewhat easily with something like a Blizzard. If it wasn't because of all of those... Damn... Uh, eight, for the first, these combos that he's going to go for right now, but also... Jesus. We are dead. Uh, well, he has just used 
re really a lot just to kill us. So he may not have more. He still has seven on the board. So if he can echo with Medif next turn, getting another one, that won't be enough though. Okay, so he has eight on the board. Let's keep track. That's nine on the board. And that's probably lethal. That's millions. That's probably enough. Uh, sure it is. And uh, yeah, sure. Wonderful snow chugger you have there. <laughs> it's beautiful. Damn. Well, at least we're dying uh, rather fast. So we may end up playing against someone who's not going to kill us immediately. But I... Yeah, I guess about round... I have heard some from... Who was that? Yeah, it was Total Biscuit who said that around rank 19, it's all the tryhards who just are really bad. Or just are grinding people. So, you would probably expect some rather high... Uh, uh, some rather meta um, stuff here. Mainly also aggro would probably also be rather reasonable. A rogue! That is going to be really interesting. You asked for They're going, if it's going to be that mech rogue, then he's going to have sprint and he's going to use it. And the mech rogue is the most um, the most meta thing there is. It's, people are still trying to get the miracle thing to go, to work without like a Jetson, but what I've seen until now, it hasn't really been that well looking, but it's... I'm going to look at that uh, so at some other point because it's it's really interesting. I like the concept of um, uh, the Miracle Rogue. Some people hate it, obviously because they're going to lose against it. But um, I I actually liked it. I thought it was a very interesting concept and very different from uh, our most other uh, decks. Which is really what my criteria actually for a good deck is. It interesting in some way. Is it rather different from other stuff? I mean, there's there's really not that much if it's just more of the same in some way. Death Lord, keep him at bay. He's an aggro deck, as we already have seen with this mech stuff. Um, back to the point, yeah. If, if something is so very different from other stuff, then I'm just going to dig it. That is why I really like these... Uh, why I have taken two different approaches on the mill decks. Um, or have found two different approaches. I haven't really done that much myself mm -hmm. with them. I have tinkered a little bit with them, but still... Um, top of, but really, I just like different decks, which is also mainly why I like to uh, go for an explosive sheep next turn. But more on the more serious side, that's also why I like to go for um, to go for some more gimmick decks sometimes. Which this may be okay if you get something for two HP. This would be an, an amazing explosive sheep. That is not something with 2 HP, neither is, is it something that I would have expected. That is very unorthodox. Well, that happened. Um. Well played. Yeah, thank you. Okay, at least he doesn't have more stuff in his hand. If he goes for a dagger, then he either he go makes ready to uh, buff it, but it, then he wouldn't hit me in the face with it. And uh, if he should go for anything like... Oh, sorry. If he should go for anything... Uh, if, he sh if he wants to buff it, he wouldn't hit me in the face. And so if he had anything better to do, then he wouldn't go for a dagger. I there you go. Now it makes sense. Somewhat. That is not what I want. And T kill bot is just bad. Yeah. Thank you for saying well played all the time. I'm just going to scratch you now. This is going to be rather irritating. In the long run. <laughs> Man. Stop. I mean. Why would you want to emote to me? I'm trying to not be on tilt here. You what? Damn. Well. I mean it's. It's just a fan creeper. Really. There's nothing to that. We can deal with that somewhat easily. As long as he doesn't go for anything like that uh, buff to the uh, damage. 
then uh, if he even does that we can go for big game hunter and right now i'm just going to fire blast it i don't really want to go for an tick heal bot here i'm actually the more turns that he does nothing i'm comfortable the more turns he does just nothing means that he's going to he's trying to he's uh, has had that yeah, he has one out of steam somewhat I mean, he has four mana left, he doesn't play anything. It wasn't he? We just established he was aqua, right? So, yeah, that's that. We don't pull him off that, obviously. If he wants to shadow step that damn thing again, then I'm more than fine with that. If he wastes shadow steps on the damn fen creeper, then I'm fine. Seven mana, please sprint. That would be so cool. Oh. So it's some kind of piracy thing, maybe? But why would you then have the Annoyatron and the uh, buff thing? Uh, the buff mech thing, also. Makes no sense, really. It seems rather put together, this thing. And this plus this equals a lot of HP back to our face. And also want that fan creeper, hopefully. Let's just annoy the hell out of him. Okay, so this, yeah, this is some kind of, this seems to be somewhat the cheaper thing here. Yeah? Now the question is going to be if we want to explosive sheep this, or we want to blizzard this. Or Cone of Cold, maybe. What, maybe we want to have him play even more stuff. Sure, why not? Ah, why not kill this? Or kill this, maybe. Make it ready for a flame strike. Yeah, I like that. If he wants to get that damn fan creep out, of, uh, out again, then <laughs> he by sure all means he can do that. And if he's just going to hit me in the face for one all the time, then I'm fine too. He's going to shadow step that. It's still completely fine with me because, well, Blizzard and Doomsday doesn't really care about anything here. Assassin's Blade. Well, um, yeah, he, he if he doesn't know what we're, he's playing against, at least from what his stack is, I wouldn't expect him to know something like that. A knife juggler, okay. So he, he is running all the way from being some kind of mid range thing to be something like that, uh, some very controlly thing. But oh well. It's fine. And I'm going to pass. I don't see any reason not to. We have two antique heal what's healing us for 16 HP. And we have a Doomsayer and Blizzard combo. He has probably an assassinate too. That is, pro that is a card that on the paper on, on just looks good when you see it at first. Antique heal button and then uh, Echo of Medivh. Nah. Doesn't seem like the best idea here. We could uh, Polymorph. Is he going to have some bigger threat than this? Probably not. Then we can Explosive Sheep this. Yeah, thank you. You are only a 3-2, not a 4-3. I don't know why that animation lagged out, but I will. Oh well. So with that we have him slowed down again. Deadly poison. Okay, that is... Do we, we don't have anything to deal with that. Except we have a lot of healing. So, that's cool. That's fine. So, an antique heal bot and a sludge belcher. That seems like a great idea, right? He has to uh, really waste a charge. Or durability, whatever you want to call it, on his uh, weapon. Backstabbing. And then shift. Um. Uh, knife. Ah, fan of knives. Yes, of course. And then shift. Then not shift. Okay. Well, um, do you want to draw some more cards? Sure. Everyone wants to draw cards. Everyone draw cards. Yeah, come on. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful, a great idea. Hey, right. wait. What about we actually echo me for that for later again? And another slime, sure. <laughs> well, let's just 
Antique Heal, but probably should be thrown down next turn just to Echo of Medivit. I mean, it's only going to be like a 2 HP heal, or 4 HP heal. Now I can't even calculate anything anymore, but still. Vanish. That is really interesting. Now he all of a sudden plays a mill deck, I guess. Well, the Doomsayer. Okay, that wasn't the worst thing that could have happened. So we don't want to play these two right now. We just want to play this. And I don't think... Should we... Yeah, we should probably keep the uh, big game hunter. If he should just have something in store for us, actually. Um, if he will probably kill the antique heal bot, sadly. But it's fine. Now we have healed so much. He will... His deck would, in theory, not have to be a deal with killing someone at about 50 HP. So... He should probably not, he should in theory not be um, able to do that, but that is so wrong. Okay, that is okay. That is okay-ish. And if he is clever, he's going to keep it stealth. Cool. At least we are agreeing on something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we will have to play something after that too. An ice block for it would be a good example. If he vanishes again though, you're going to be in trouble. We are 6 to 8, he hasn't drawn anything. I'm just going to throw the big game hunter out too. If he's going to vanish, we no matter what we actually do, we would have to go for a spell. We actually want to get our hand smaller. I mean, if he vanishes, we are going to be in trouble again. Okay, cool. So, while you will have a somewhat okay -ish, um, blizzard. Yeah, we will have a fine blizzard. That's fine. He's thinking about hitting us in the face, too. Don't you want to draw some cards? That would be a really good idea, I think. Close of, nah, I don't really want to flame strike this. This seems like a waste. We still want to keep the really hard removal until he has a full has drawn all his cards. So since we want him to, or we want to have played against his whole deck, we have to keep the hard removal for later. So we, that we are actually sure that we are going to play or be able to deal with any, everything. Which is the thing that I had trouble with earlier. Thank you. My thanks. So there you go. That was uh, the sprint as I saw, or as I guessed. And he has another sprint in his, in his hand, but he's obviously not going to play it. Sinister Strike, I'm fine with that. The, prob the thing is just, I'm not so sure if this is really a victory to be happy about. I mean... He didn't really seem to know what he was doing. His deck didn't really make sense. So, yeah. But still, it's fine. I mean, what what else would you have? Could go f just... Actually, how much damage would that be? Two, then three. So it would be five. Two, five, uh, nine. Not enough. That is for sure. 2, 3, and then 4, and then 5, and then 6. 6 plus 5 is 11, plus... Yeah, we would actually do it. Just cold lights. And then pass. Fire just fire blast his face too. There we go, he's dead. My hand is too full. And... There we go. We killed him by fatigue, actually. And we had a lot of stuff to uh, to do anything we wanted to. So with that... I think... <laughs> I think we're just going to stop here. <laughs> Even though, I mean, the thing is... I mean, just let's, let's actually, before we're going to... Just, just, I'm just going to go. Let's just compare this with the uh, almighty du Druid fatigue here. The problem is that... Even though there should be more um, 
what I'm trying to say, more uh, ball control in the in the mage one, unlike this one. Just seems like it's not really as strong with the board control in some way. I don't know if it's because it, this has more minions, maybe. Because it just has more minions that can also trade. Maybe that is the case. Or maybe it's just because there's something like the uh, natural ices also. And there's all these other stuff that makes card draw much easier. Making the fatigue part of this deck much easier. It seems a very, like a very interesting deck to me. I can't play it as we can see. I can't. I just can't. So, even though it, I cannot see anything that is wrong with it, in theory it is really good, it also seemed to work somewhat okay -ish at last, except that I was killed by the one aggro deck after the other and didn't really get to uh, get all the answers against the, uh, the uh, control decks, but oh well. The point is that even though this deck is in theory really cool, it doesn't it doesn't seem to really want to work for me. It's but it's just again me being not really the best player, I guess. But also not the worst. And with that, thank you for watching. See ya.